Let's start off by saying this morning before we read this text, there has to be a culture of faith in this season of our life. There has to be a culture of change. There has to be a culture of newness. If we're gonna experience and receive what God has for us, in any corporation that you connect with, any cor corporation that you're part of, they have what you call core values. There is the core values is how um, the culture of the organization begins to thrive, begins to move forward based on the core values that the organization begins to set in motion for everyone that's connected to the organization. And so in this season, I pray that you have begin to set forth the culture in your life, in your home, uh, in the things that you're connected to, uh, so you can begin to move into the dimension of what you're believing for, but also what you're believing for God to release. So I want to say that you need a culture of faith. Somebody say, I need a culture of faith that I have to believe beyond my now. I have to hope it's something that's greater than me. I have to have a culture of faith a culture of change, but also a culture of newness where I begin to expect more. And that's a part of, that, that becomes a part of my life, that becomes a part of my world. You cannot evolve without your culture being consistent. Let me say that again, I'm already teaching. You cannot evolve in this season without the culture being consistent. I have to have a consistent culture of faith, a consistent culture of change, a consistent culture of newness. If I don't have a consistent culture, uh, my, listen, my life would not evolve. I have to have a consistent culture of what I believe in and what I expect. You cannot afford, hear me people of God, you cannot afford to take time off for detours and distractions. You have to stay focused on your core values and the culture that God is building in your life. And you have to have a laser focus. I'm not saying that detours won't come. I'm not saying distractions is not going to come. But every distraction should go in the, in the direction of what you're believing. You have to pull that distraction and say, I'm not getting stuck. I'm allowing myself to move into the velocity of the culture that I'm believing in. So listen, you cannot take uh, time off for distraction because there is so much counting on you. I'm talking to you that's watching today. There's so many people counting on you. There's so many things that's counting on you to live in this season and to believe God like never before. Uh, you have to infuse your culture today intentionally. You have to infuse your culture today intentionally. If you took a job today, and you go to orientation or what they call now onboarding, where they begin to onboard you into the culture. There is a systematic culture that they begin to onboard you to, in, 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 to inject you in. Why? Because they want you to get the palate of the culture. And this season in my family, me and my family, we have to have a culture of faith. And we're going to onboard into what God has for us. Uh, my, my family has to have the culture of change. We're going to have to be, be, be consistent, open to change in this season. If we're going to onboard into what God has for us, my family in this season have to expect something new. We cannot expect what we already have because what we already had has been exhausted. And if God is going to begin to shift us into what we want, to shift us in his promise, to begin to shift us in what we believe we're going to have to begin to open ourselves up to newness and our culture has to be consistent for these three elements and I pray that you get this 